Isn't it interesting that it's normal to spend our lives working Monday to Friday, building a business that we can't call our own. We wake up at eight, get to the office by nine, work our butts off until five, and then repeat the process over and over again. It's not that this is necessarily bad, it's just probably not your image of an ideal life, one that you really haven't had a say in designing. So that's why my goal for this video is to give you some perspective about how you can start paving that road to ultimately leave your job. And I really do think that some of my points are quite different than what other people are saying, so stay tuned for them. Thanks to Taylor Brands for sponsoring this video and stay tuned to see what this all-in-one solution is all about. Now, to give you guys some context, I know what it's like to have a nine to five job, but barely. In 2013, I spent my summer working as a loan processor at a family-run mortgage brokerage. I made $25 an hour, and to be honest, it was a great job, not particularly difficult, but but I realized how much I hated those two months overall and it left a lasting impression that would irk me for the next year. I graduated college a year later and I will admit it was not easy. I'd always planned on going to medical school despite my deep lack of interest in the field. So I spent the summer trying to work on my school applications, doing various side hustles to pay my bills, and figuring out what I was supposed to do with my life. I took an EMT certification class and tried to get a job as an EMT making $11 per hour. I failed my practical exam at a nearby ambulance company and said to myself, screw it, I don't want this job, I'm not going to retake the test and I'd rather make money on my own and build equity in myself rather than someone else's company. So that really started this whole journey of doing side hustles and sort of rejecting the whole work for a company sort of thing. And oh my God, you guys, I'm so glad that I took that leap of faith. Today, I run multiple companies, work less than 40 hours a week, and best of all, I get to decide what I do with my day. So let's go over some things that I'm pretty sure will change your perspective on working in general. Growing up and seeing my parents work their butts off for these big companies really pushed the thought of entrepreneurship out of my mind. I mean, as immigrants from China, my parents were taught to study hard, pick a good career and get a respectable job with great benefits. My mom is a statistician and my dad is a software engineer. Coming from these poor cities in China, they absolutely crushed it. I still look up to them so much in terms of their work ethic and the life that they've built for our family. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't grow up in any entrepreneurial household, so I really had no idea what being an entrepreneur would be like. To me, the vision of success was to study hard and get a high paying career in something like medicine. And the problem with this type of thinking is that once you close your mind to the other opportunities in the world, you start to forget that you can design your own life. So I think the first problem lies here. Not enough people are brought up in the world of business, so they automatically assume that they need to work for someone else. On my channel, I try and make entrepreneurship normal. I think it's normal to start side hustles. It's normal to create a business. It's normal to not go into an office every single day. A lot of us are discovering this well into our 20s, 30s, or even later. When we are surrounded by this type of energy, suddenly a light can go off inside of us, and we gain the confidence to do something unheard of, leaving a well-paying job and pursuing our own dreams and passion. Now, coming from the perspective of a business owner, I want to give you some insight as to what it's like on our side. While I do care about the people that work for me, I know that they can decide to leave whenever they want. And the same holds true the other way. I can get a replacement within a few days most of the time. So the point being, as a worker, your job is never as concrete as you think it is. Things can happen, like the pandemic, that make your company need to scale back on workers. Your job is just never too secure and it's actually quite risky. And and that's why I do think it's better to work for yourself because then you're the only boss you're reporting to and I think that's pretty dope. I think everyone should start their own business at some point in their life. That's why I'm super excited to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video, Taylor Brands. Taylor Brands is an AI driven all-in-one solution for helping entrepreneurs jumpstart their business. They have great tools to help with important things like creating your logo, getting a domain, creating an LLC, a website, business cards, social media tools, merch, and much more. This is literally the tool I wish I had when building out my past businesses because it makes it so simple. And yeah, within 60 minutes, you can get your business branding looking super professional with no coding or design skills needed. I'm a big fan of their tools because it means you won't spend a ton of time setting up your business. So you can focus more of your time on what's important, which is building your great product or service. You guys can get started now for as little as $3.99, which is an absolute steal. You can use the link below to sign up and use code CHARLIECHANG40 to receive an additional 40% off. And now back to the video. I want you guys to think of it like this. Say you are working for a big corporation 
organization, the CEO, a board of directors, CMO, CFO, shareholders, etc. As an employee, you're contributing probably, let's say, 40 hours a week of your life. It's likely that you yourself are generating 3 to 10x the income that you are being paid. So then where is the rest of the money going to? The answer is everywhere else but you. So if you like making other people rich, then being employed is great. But you're paying a big tax because the money you're bringing in, it's not yours. It's theirs. Also, understand this. You will never be truly wealthy if you continue to trade your time for money. If the only way to bring in one unit of income is to spend one unit of time at the office, then you are doomed. 40 hours a week brings in X dollars, but the only way to replenish that X dollars is by working another 40 hours. You see how it's this sort of unfortunate loop that drains us of our life. Now, with being self-employed or having a business, you can create wealth because you can leverage the time of other people. It's exactly what your boss or CEO is doing themselves. They're leveraging your time to give themselves real wealth. So at some point, your boss won't have to come into the office every day, but will still be making money because, well, you'll be at the office working for them. Now they've created a situation where they spend one unit of time to make 10 units of income. That's a situation that you want to be in if you want to truly enjoy your life. So another huge reason why it makes sense to be employed is for tax purposes. As a W-2 earner, you're actually paying the most taxes of anyone else. It's active income, which is taxed the highest, and you don't have the option to take significant business write-offs. And that's because your boss is the one taking the write-offs, not you. For example, let's compare a small business owner and a consultant who both make $100,000 per year. The business owner is going to be able to buy computers, iPads, food, equipment, cars, anything that helps with the business and they're able to write that off. Meaning their taxable income drops from let's say $100,000 per year to $70,000. Now he or she is only paying taxes on that 70K and meanwhile the consultant has no real way of lowering their taxable income which means that they are getting screwed in that sense. The only way to take advantage of the tax code truly is to be self-employed or have your own business. It's really as simple as that. That in itself should propel you towards turning in that two week notice. But wait, there's a lot more that I want to talk about. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you care about financial freedom and taking care of yourself and your family. That's why the next thing I'm about to say is going to knock your socks off. 18% of US households are headed by a self-employed business owner, but they make up almost 80% of millionaires. Meaning if you want to make money, you want to be self-employed. That's really what the data is leaning towards. I remember five years ago thinking to myself, would I take a $250,000 flat salary guaranteed for the rest of my life or be left to make however much money I can in business? And back then, yeah, I would have taken that guaranteed $250,000 salary. Now, however, not so much. In fact, once you see how much money there is to be made in business, 250K will seem measly. Income is uncapped when you're a business owner and you have the ability to put your time into your own passions, not your bosses. And let's not forget, self-employment means you are in control of your time and who you work with. It's simply the better lifestyle and I will say that is a fact for myself. For me, the thought of having to go into an office for eight hours a day makes me want to jump off a cliff. If you're employed, you're probably just really used to it. But once you get a taste of time freedom, you'll never go back, it's impossible. Your quality of life will just go up once your business is running successfully. I will say it's good to be thankful to your current job if you do have one. Many people would kill for your job and that's just what makes it so confusing to quit. Why give up this opportunity when I'm jumping into the unknown? Well, because the unknown is where the real opportunity is. I want you guys to really think about that statement because it really deeply resonated with me. Now, I highly encourage you to start a side hustle or a business long before you actually quit your job. Personally, that's what I think is smart. That's what I would do if I was in that situation. But if you can get past that initial time period by continuing your job or having savings that you can live off of, then you are going to be in a good place. No business is guaranteed to do well, but if you keep trying, I guarantee one of them will hit it off and replace your current income. So yeah, I really hope that this video gives you some inspiration for getting into entrepreneurship. I don't wanna come off as a job hater. Jobs are integral parts of society and without employees, the economy would fail. But for those of you who want to be your own boss, who are watching this video, I want this video to just show you that it's normal to be self-employed. Most of my friends are self-employed. There's a lot of us out there and we sincerely hope 
that one day you can take that leap of faith. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys got some value out of it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this. I make a ton of content about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.